Und damit hallo und herzlich willkommen zurück bei Tales of Berseria. Äh, meinst du? Oh, ich habe zu viel von dem Scheiß. Äh, Expedition ist zurück. Wir haben ja jetzt, gestern habe ich... Le uh, fünf. Albatros Fleisch, Knoblauch. Nein, Kanono Insel. Scout Ships. Okay, so. Achso, ja. Flammenstein Schlüssel, was so. Äh, genau, wir gehen jetzt in... Rokuro. Ja, ich habe einfach den Namen vergessen, Mann. Ich bin echt schlecht im Namen. Habe ich das schon mal erwähnt? Ich glaube, in zig anderen Let's Plays. Oh. Oh. Ähm, ja. Rechtzeitiger Pony. Was will ich denn mit einem Pony? Das schaut halt einfach nur voll scheiße aus. Okay, bei ihr wird es fast sogar irgendwie passen. Warte mal, wir müssen da näher hin. Äh, warte mal, wie war es jetzt? RT und ne, ne, ne. So. Bei ihr wird es fast ein bisschen, als ist wegen, wegen, wegen Emo, Emo Eleanor. Wie schaut es bei dir aus? Naja, gut, bei ihr reißt es nicht wirklich was raus. Ich meine, die hat schon eine fette Strähne über Sau. Äh, übers Gesicht. Das schaut scheiße aus. <lacht> es ändert sich bei ihm halt gar nichts, Alter. <lacht> also, ich meine, es kommt halt einfach nur ein bisschen Haar dazu, was aus dem anderen Haar raussteht. Was soll die Sinn hier eigentlich? Äh, achso, ja Gott, wir haben ja eine Map da drauf. Kaufen, kaufen, kaufen. Und, und, und. Tranquilo. Es ist eine Slife. Wir haben eine Slife bekommen. Ist jetzt gemeistert. Fähigkeit gegen gepanzerte Gegner plus 10%. Finde ich sehr gut. Was, wie schaut's aus? Warum können eigentlich von denen alle irgendwas aufwerten? Kaufen. Schwerter. Fluoridpapier, Fluoridpuppe, Kalzitpuppe. Äh, Gürtel, Gürtel, ja. Kalzitweste, Weste, bla bla bla. Ist doch nur Bullshit hier, kann das sein? Aufwerten. Versenkende Dolche. Kurugane Dolche. Oh, Goldklumpen. Oh, fuck you. So, warte mal zur Ausrüstung. Na, versenkende Dolche. Kurugane Dolche. Oh, ja. Ja, aber ist das nicht Bullshit? Jetzt habe ich was für, für ihn bekommen und... Es reißt halt nicht wirklich raus, ich meine. Oh, warte mal, die können wir aufwerten. Silberklubben haben wir nichts, Bronzeklubben haben wir nichts, äh, Silberklubben haben wir auch nichts. Was wollte ich? Wir, brauchen, wir verbringen viel zu viel Zeit in den verdammten. Oh, ich kann da auch nicht, nein, ich muss davor. Ich konnte vorher speichern, ja, das passt schon. Aber wir müssen kurz mal. Zack, 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 zack. Äh, ich meine, ihn brauchen wir. Oh, wie ist die Verstärkung cool, hat die feige Sau, ey. Oh, ich bin der größte Schwertkämpfer, deswegen nehme ich jetzt noch zwei Leutchen mit. Brauche ich mit Kaffee. There they are. Which must mean they took out every one of the exorcists who went after them. Hey, I told them not to bother. Now how did that sword of yours turn out? <lacht> Fine. I'll find out for myself. Wo ist die Schwertscheide hin? Rokuro, we can handle the exorcists. Go and find your victory. Thanks. All right. Let's get down to business. Ich bin zu langsam. Ah, fuck, warum hat er zu lang gedauert? Yeah, that's right. Get into it. Keep it up. I love it. 
So, und jetzt ist er dran. Ah, na, wo war die Faxi ist schon tot? Ähm. Rokoro, was machst du? Hä? Wechsel des Steuerungsmodus. Achso, Figurenwechsel. Ach, hier kann ich das wechseln. Ja, lass ich mal hier weg. Alter, Eleanor, ich kann dir unter den Rock schauen. Ja, ich voll Neiglatsch. Alter, bist du Hölle gegen die Dinger? Oh shit. Ähm, sie hat's trotzdem erwischt. Oh shit. Warte mal, ich muss wechseln. Das ist nicht geil, Alter. Das ist überhaupt nicht geil. Au. Mal kurz mal Ding. Oh, Oh, wir kriegen alle, aber da geht's ja ganz schön ab. Okay, jetzt macht er uns platt. Ach, nicht schon wieder. You put up a good fight. I'll give you that. But you're a freaking demon. Shouldn't you bring more to the table than pretty damn good Rangetsu style? You don't have what it takes to win against the rightful heir. So count me out. Just yet. I've got something to show you! Take this! <laughs> Now that was clever! Giving up one of your own hands to go for my neck! If I was just a second slower, I'd be dead now. I like it. This is what I've been looking for. All right, let's call it good here. Listen up! If you all want any hope of beating me, come find me once you're more skilled and better armed. <sighs> I'll cut you down. No matter how many times I lose, No matter how many years it takes. Mm. 
There we go. That's the face I'm looking for. So vicious. It's perfect. <laughs> what is wrong with him? Shouldn't you be worrying more about your own skin? The entire Abbey knows by now that you're a traitor. Uh, Verdammte fette Katze. That guy, he was really strong. Yeah, he was. They all are. But we will beat him if we must. No matter what it takes. <sighs> the Von Elty is here. Let's get going. Please, take me with you. I'll make a sword that surpasses Storm Hell yet. I know I will. But for another blade to beat Storm Hell, its wielder must be a swordsman of unmatched skill. Hey, Eisen. Got any room on this pile of wood scrap for a suit of armor? If not, make someone wear it. <laughs> Works for me. You heard him, Kurogane. Many thanks. Okay, we're off to find Grimoire and decipher the book. You know where we're going, right, kiddo? Yeah. We're headed for the Isalt Archipelago in South Gand. Coole Kämpfe, aber ich weiß nicht, die, die, die mischen mit mir teilweise zwischen deinen Boden auf. Hm? Velvet's Demon Hand. It's such a mysterious weapon. I can only imagine how much of a threat it will become to the Abbey. This calls for a clear-headed breakdown of everything I know about it so far. It changes shape in a flash and could devour most anything. How must that feel, to devour something with your hand like that? But it doesn't devour the bandages that cover it up. Maybe they're protected with some sort of special art? Likewise, the rest of her outfit can't be ignored. One would think she wouldn't want to wear such ragged clothing. Yet, she clearly has no inclination of buying something new. I suppose that could be taken to mean she has some sort of attachment to it. But that top is really big for her. Like it was made for a man. Maybe she wears that outfit in memory of someone important to her. I'd better not touch it then. I know I may not look it, but I really am good at sewing. Maybe I should suggest mending her clothes rather than outright replacing them. On the other hand, that fabric looks like it would be hard to push a needle through. I could be in over my head. But the tougher the fight, the more I get fired up. Of course, Lord Artorius would probably scold me if he heard me talking like that. Who'd scold you for what now? Oh, uh, well, I was thinking about sewing. I mean, your clothes, they're all beat up, and I thought that if I offered to mend them for you, you'd probably scold me, wouldn't you? You'd mend my clothes? Have they been worrying you that much? I mean, not like constantly or anything. It just crosses my mind from time to time. Are you good at it? Yes. I'm told I come across as awkward sometimes, but if nothing else, I'm good with my hands. I see. All right. If I ever need it done, I'll come to you. Good. Just leave it to me. Are you feeling all right? You're really sweating. The heat and the cold doesn't bother me at all. But you're a human, so you need to take care of yourself. And if you keep soaking in your own sweat, you'll catch a cold. Besides, I don't imagine it feels that great. You should keep washing and bathing on your own schedule, like however you did before falling in with us. Just let me know and I'll make it work. Because the guys aren't considerate enough to stop and ask you if you need to. Sure. All right. Thanks. That was a surprisingly normal thing for her to say. I probably shouldn't bother with her clothes for now. We girls have to be considerate of each other. <laughs> oh 
Oh mein Gott, das war jetzt so geil. Sie hält da voll den, voll den Monolog mit sich selber, laut und deutlich. Und die anderen kommen mit immer hinten so ein Bild vorbeigeschwommen. Also, oder so vorbeigeschwebt. So. Alter, was zur Hölle macht die Alte da? <lacht> Wie geil. Klingt mein Alarmschiff rum, ist ich nicht. Bla bla bla. 2,5. Okay. Schlingendrache. Was war ein Schlingendrache? Verdorbene Kugel. Ah, stimmt, die alte habe ich ausgelassen, ne? Nur, ich weiß, ich habe natürlich dann... Den habe ich ausgelassen, den habe ich ausgelassen. Dafür habe ich halt dann den 27er gekillt, ne? Alter, wir sind halt echt unterlevelt, kann das sein? Haben wir... Musst du echt jeden verdammten Ge oh, Gegner machen? Chamberlains 2 spielen. Ach, das war das Zerstören, ne? Nein, nein, geh weg. Schnellschlagspiel, Hilfe, Objekttausch. Da krieg ich die dämlichen Flaschen her, aber 500, Mann. What the hell, alter Fluoridfragment für 10 fucking 1000? Da krieg ich doch viel schneller was her, wenn ich es anders dann mache. Mini-Jude, Ludger, Martha. Wer zur Hölle ist das? Wütende Brille, Elfenbein. Kampfmusik gewandt 1 Velvet. Was zur Hölle ist Kampfmusik gewandt? Windnormin Set Velvet. Ach, scheiß drauf, ich probier's einfach aus. Äh. Hat man das an, ändert sich die Kampfmusik. Ich werde dein Lieblingsstück. Okay. Okay, das... Ich, ich weiß nicht, warum, aber das, das überrascht mich jetzt, dass ich jetzt dann sag, was anziehen kann, was den Kampf sich ändert. So, you guys made it. Whatever happened to that swordbreaker? He's been dealt with. What are you doing here? After everything you said to me, I had a change of heart. I quit banditry. Thank you. I'm glad you listened to reason. What do you plan on doing from here on out? I'm heading to the capital. I plan on opening a restaurant for bandit cuisine. Bandit cuisine? Yeah. You get your hands on all sorts of food as a bandit. You gotta use what you have, and still make a tasty meal. Like a wild mushroom omelette minus the eggs. Or highwayman's stew. It's like a hunter's stew, but, you know, made by bandits. That sounds... somewhat improper, actually. But I'd still love to visit after you open. Really? All right. <laughs> I'll be an upright citizen in no time. <laughs> Maybe even the kind of man you'd consider spending some time with. I'm rooting for you. Hey, were you actually listening to him? Of course I was. It's wonderful he's turned over a new leaf. Dass der sich vollendig verknallt hat, hast du natürlich nicht gemerkt. Pappnase. Ach, die Eleanor ist schon. Ich mag sie irgendwie und andererseits ist sie total durch, ey. Die passt halt zu dem Haufen, das ist ja das Lustige. Crybaby Exorcist, man. Wir gehen mal nochmal rein, ich will die Kampfmusik hören. Ah oh, shit, ich muss jetzt aber nicht zu so lang laufen, oder? Äh. Oh Gott sei Dank. Das ist doch dieselbe Musik. Even a short genau is da bin ich jetzt ganz bescheuert. Das an ändert sich die Kampfmusik. Wälder Lieblingsstück. Komisch. Ah ja, ich wollte mal... Ah, jetzt scheiße, ich wollte da verkaufen gehen, ne? Ich wollte mir was nachschauen. Ne, da hier, Bibliothek, Übersicht. Buch der Monster, Ausrüstungsbuch. Äh, Wildfang. Ach so, warte, ne, das ist da Hilfe. Kampf. Velvets Artes, fatale Gegnerkampfschwierigkeit, Beute, Kraftverbindung. 
Einige Gegner haben dann Stärke, wenn ein bestimmter anderer Gegner ebenfalls auf dem Schlachtfeld anwesend ist. Das Effekt heißt Kraftverbindung, indem du die entsprechenden Gegner besiegst. Kraftverbindung kommt meist bei Verstärkung vor und du schätzt also den Gegner nicht. Okay. Das verbraucht dir eins von diesen Dingern, ne? wenn du mindestens ein SA hast. Okay, Gegner werden stärker, wenn sie ihre eigene Art mit drauf haben. Ja, aber... Keine Ahnung. Oh. So schnell sind die Gegner halt auch nicht tot. Na egal. Hey, you there. That's one impressive sword you got. You know a lot about swords? I'm a novice swordsmith. Been at it for 20 years. Now I'm finally able to make a blade worthy of the name. 20 years? And still just a novice? It's a competitive world out there for a swordsmith. Especially here on this island. But I heard many swordsmiths have given up. There's less ore around nowadays and swords don't work against the demons. True, swords are useless against demons. Unless it's an exorcist that's using them. Kednick's weaponry has always been prized in Midgant. The Abbey recognized our talents, and now, business is booming. All the smiths here are grateful to the Abbey. They're keeping all of us alive and fed. Okay. Verkaufen. Von was habe ich viel zu viel? Kann ich das irgendwie... Boah, da Flammenstein später. Verkaufen wir mal 70. 64. Überraschend beliebt bei Sammeln. Kaufen wir mal 30. 25. Da haben wir 43. Er hat einen geringen medizinischen Wert. Okay. War es eigentlich auch schon. Let's go. Warte mal, ist da rechts? Da geht's irgendwo rein. Hä? Alter, für sowas macht man ein Haus? Na ja gut, ich habe eigentlich nur das Haus aus dem Eiskafter kopiert, aber trotzdem. Ist doch jetzt nichts, wo du sagst, ey, das Kopie, das, das mache ich daher, nur damit einer reinlaufen kann und mit dem ich Kiste aufmachen kann. Manchmal frage ich mich schon, was Entwickler machen. Oder machen die das nur aus Spaß? Oder damit es ausschaut, wie mehr da wäre. Was los? Eisen, ich dachte, du warst in Midgand gewesen. How did you end up here in Eilgand? Schwimmen. I thought I'd gotten used to you performing the impossible, but this time, I'm at a loss for words. We heard from the Bloodwings that the Abbey might have taken you guys out. Not this time, but our luck won't last forever. Think of this as a dry run for when I really kick the bucket. Aye, aye, first mate. More importantly, are you sure it's okay to bring an exorcist aboard? I've got my eye on her. If she does anything funny, I'll handle it. Got it. We'll be on our guard too. Was geht ab? Oh, ich kann gar nicht hoch. Aber warum zum Geier muss es ausgerechnet Isel im Garten sein? Ah, der Sinsenfluch, natürlich. Segeln zwischen Kontinenten. Die Kontinente sind durch Seerouten miteinander verbunden. Wenn du einen anderen Kontinent reisen möchtest, dann sprich mit Benweg am Hafen und Elti, um dorthin zu fahren. Kein Geld ist also hervorragende Reisemöglichkeit. Okay, cool. Let's los. Natürlich unterhalten sich die Dämonen. I gotta say, you guys look less like pirates and more like a circus troop. Are you all right with having demons on board, Benwick? Not remotely an issue. If you're aboard this ship of misfits, you're a pirate. That's just our creed. At least, that's what the captain and the first mate always say. Speaking of the captain, what's Eifried like? Hmm, let's see. How do I put it? He's like if the sea were a person, and that person had a pointy beard. Huh, 
Uh, a bearded sea? Look, everybody on this ship is an outcast from society in some way. Despite that, Captain Eifried accepted us for who we are and took us all on board. So he's a kind man. Well, would you say that the sea is kind? How would it feel to dive in with an open wound? It would sting a lot. Quite so. Some days he's calm and steady, and others he rages. He can be shallow, deep, even a whirlpool. Sounds like he's a little scary and hard to read. Yeah. Sometimes it's hard to serve him. But that air of mystery keeps us around and makes us want to take those jumps. At the end of the day, the dread pirate Van Eifried is one hell of a guy. He sounds like Velvet in a lot of ways. Wait, what? How so? Uh, I didn't describe him right at all, did I? Hmm. Benwick, we're changing course at once for Port Renied. Sir? What's going on? Three of our men have collapsed from the Corsair Scourge. They first showed symptoms three days ago. How are you holding up? I'm still doing all right. But if this really started three days ago, that means we're all carrying it, doesn't it? That's what I'm afraid of. But if we head straight to Port Renied, we should be able to get medicine there. I'll check on everyone's condition. Make sure everyone stays hydrated, including yourself, understand? Sir, yes sir. All hands, assume emergency positions. The crew's holding up well for a bunch of folks at death's door. What do you mean? Is this Corsair scourge fatal? Quite. No one knows what causes it, but it starts with a high fever and ends up with the body falling apart like sand. Like sand? Once, there was a great band of pirates who ruled the seas, but the disease spread through their ships and killed every one of them. That's why it's called the Corsair Scourge. Does that mean we've been infected as well? You humans, for sure. Only humans fall prey to the Corsair Scourge. Then it could have gotten to you too. Right, Moggy Lou? Oh, r right. <gasps> Alas, that my glorious saga should meet such an ignominious end! I can't allow our vessel to die from this. If you start to feel ill, speak up. I will. All right. We'll all be helping out in the search. Everyone but Eleanor, that is. Huh? Oh, why does she get to stay? I might be dying too, you know. You're a witch. Magic yourself healthy. Now quit whining and get going. Oh, not even a witch is safe from the ravages of the Reaper's Curse! The Reaper's Curse? <lacht> Wie geil, Alter. <lacht> Alle außer Nenner machen mit. Und was ist mit mir? Ach, zauber dich gesund und mach mit jetzt. <lacht> okay, where's the herbalist? If I remember right, the Corsair's Scourge needs a particularly special medicine. Yeah. It's a wildflower called Salatoma. Its juice can cure the Corsair's scourge. Well, doesn't sound too tricky. Let's not relax until we have it in hand. Right. Now let's get going. Hold on a minute. Won't you just be spreading the disease if everyone wanders into town? Surprisingly, no. For whatever reason, you can only catch it over the ocean waves. It's speculated it might have something to do with the salt in the air. Or maybe the microbes in the seawater. Nobody knows the cause for sure. But there are no recorded cases of people catching it on land. I see. A strange affliction indeed. We'll be back soon. You all remain on the ship. All right. Good luck out there, sir. We've got to hurry. Salatoma. Is this really going to be necessary? What do you mean, Eleanor? Oh, nothing. It's just... Well, the herb is known to work well for fevers and the like, but it tastes bad. So bad. Some say it would even bring a demon to the brink of tears. Maybe so. But better to drink it than to die, right? Oh, I'm not worried. It... it just reminded me of stories from my childhood is all. 